Is that turning on? No. Beep on, beep off. And it's never a good sign when it comes with screws. Is it? And some MOSFETs. Okay. Beep on, beep off. There's a couple of MOSFETs inside this ESD packet. Um, case is a little bit melted, so I need to log that. Well, just cover my own back really on that because I'm not going to be blamed for it. I'm not saying the customer would blame me, but yeah. Right, so we're going to beep on beep off, which unfortunately could be absolutely anything. It could be the SSD, hopefully not. It could be something to do with the MOSFETs. Oof. That's not good, is it? That's not meant to be under there. Right, okay. Here we go. Right. The first thing I want to do then is just try a new power supply, just in case it's that. Although, there's MOSFETs on this board, so... Uh, sorry, inside that packet, so I'm probably just going to inspect that main board first i think see what the deal is this looks like one of my um one of my esd packets so these are the packets i use to send out chips and stuff to people so uh i'm assuming this is someone who's bought mosfets off me so if you look at them they're the packets i use so i could potentially hunt through my store for someone who's bought what one two mosfets and it might belong to them don't know i'll figure out who it belongs to at some point oh this is a v1 board i love these boards because you can actually see the uh the markings and stuff oh i've got one mate i've got a, a sealer i'm just too lazy to use it the problem is i mean not so much lately but over the past month or so, um, basically what I've been doing was I was um, I was packaging orders up until like 4.45 p.m. So like I'd rush and I wouldn't have time to seal them up or anything. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd, <laughs> I'd just not seal them up. But, you know, um, but I have got a sealer and I can seal them. Right, okay, so let's just have a look what the deal is. So, some MOSFETs have been replaced. Yeah, okay, right. So it's a little bit messed up. So that could be what's causing it to beep on, beep off. Right, okay. So I think I'm going to have to pull a few of these MOSFETs off and clean up a little bit, I think. So this just might be another prior repair attempt gone wrong, maybe. It looks like it's took some heat, though, unfortunately, which isn't good. So you can see that like rainbow effect. That means there's been a fair bit of heat around here. Uh, oh, okay, it's getting worse. Uh, yeah, it's all gonna have to come off. Yeah, full rebuild. Okay, well, <laughs> full rebuild of the power phases coming up. I wouldn't call them stupid. I mean, some people just, they're just not experienced enough to do that kind of work, right? It's not like, I mean, at least I've tried. If it's their own console, then I don't see the harm in it. You know, it's um, you know not everyone's not everyone's a professional. Not everyone's experienced, so I can't really hold it against them. If it was a professional doing it and offering it as a service, I'd have something to say. But you've got to start somewhere. Exactly, mate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone has to start somewhere, and I'm pretty sure all of us was that bad at some point, right? It's not like. It's not like you just jump straight into it and you're perfect. Nah, that's not Linus. That's too professional to be a Linus job. <laughs> so, I mean, yes, it's not a great job. It's not It's not a good job at all. Not the kind of things I'd write home about, but we can't really judge. We don't know. This could be the first time ever attempting it, and, you know, it's, it's nice to see people actually giving it a go. If they fuck it up, they just pay someone to fix it, right? At least they haven't used plumber's flux. Although, 
The mighty youth plumber's solder. Let's uh, let's just clean this up so I can have a look at what caps are going to need to be removed. It's just so I can actually see a little bit better. Because I don't want to pull all of the caps off. Oh, that's not that's not going to be necessary. A lot of them are going to have to come off, but I don't want to pull them all off. All right, so that phase is fine. Uh, well, in I'm talking in terms of caps. Uh, that phase there, I'm going to pull a couple off. Uh, well, just one actually, off this phase. Some of these I can straighten up. In fact, some of these I'll pull in with the uh, flux, but, but this one, for example, yeah, that's plumber's solder. That's not that's not the right type of solder to use. Uh, I think that'll do it. Yeah, plumber's solder does look like that. Yeah, it's all clumpy and horrible, and it is really high temperature as well. You can normally tell plumber's solder from leaded solder. See, the plumber's solder are just really cheap stuff. Like, if you look at the difference between that stuff and the stuff I'm using now. It's just a world apart. But then again, the stuff I'm using now is the best solder you can get. Thank you, Santos. Appreciate that, mate. Alright, let's just... Right, look at that. Look at the melting temperature of that. Like, it's just really, really bad. Like, to say that my iron can't handle it properly. Right, you know it's bad when your iron struggles to melt it. Especially when you're using a pretty high-quality iron. You know, Hako, Hako FX 951. And it can't keep up with the thermal mass of that solder. You know it's bad solder. But any iron, really. Any iron should be able to handle it. Get rid of that. There's too much there to just drop a, drop any solder over the top of it. It's still struggling because there's still some of, it, some of it there. As soon as I've got rid of it all, it'll be all right. Uh, we're working on an Xbox Series X at the minute. It's a uh, beep on beep off, but it's been pretty poorly looked after. So I'm just prepping all of these at the same time just to make it a little bit easier for when I drop everything back on. I'm going to need a donor board for some of these caps. I know the next morning when 
MOSFET's slightly damaged, but it shouldn't hurt it. It should be fine. It's just the top of the uh, FET, the plastic covers, slightly come away. Uh, it shouldn't hurt the actual MOSFET. It should be fine. I will check for a 12 volt short though before I do anything. Compared to how that looked, I think I've done a pretty good job. Let's just check for a 12 volt short. <coughs> Yep, no short. Good. All right, let's see if it wants to turn on then now, shall we? So, that was my donor board. Oh, I'm not going to fully reassemble this for the sake of testing. Moment of truth. Boom. Double pulse. Thank you. And that's pairing up. Boom. There we go. Working. Very, very nice. Uh, yeah, so it looks like that was on the ball with, you know, fault finding because obviously they replaced the MOSFETs. Um, there's a reason they replaced those MOSFETs and I'm assuming that's because it was no power. Uh, probably had a 12 volt short. Unfortunately, they just didn't do the best of jobs. So, bit of a rebuild. Um, fair bit of work there to rebuild the entire phase, but, you know, no harm, no foul. It's working. I'm happy. Blue Moon has said no FIFA, that's a relief, I agree. Yeah, that's why this console can live again. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, I'm happy, it's working. Um, another successful repair. Obviously, I've got to give it a full test, but, you know, I'll do that in the morning. Now it is, you know, 2.48am, so... Um, I'll leave it disassembled for tonight. I'll give it a full test in the morning, but it should be fine. My job, at least, is done. Happy days. Thank you all. Really appreciate it. Take care, everyone. You're all legends. See you all in the next one. Peace.